Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Lavoni Vishwas. In this segment today, we are going to talk about a review of Indo-US relations. So, let's begin with the topic with some discussions that we are going to look after step by step. First of all, we will begin with some introduction. Then, historical relations. After that, milestone in the relationship then Indo-US strategic partnership and significance of Indo-Pacific region, after that defense cooperation, then energy cooperation, economic cooperation and political relations and also convergence in the Indo-US relationship as well as divergence in the Indo-US relationship and at last but not the least conclusion and also the way forward. A shift in global geopolitics in the past Cold War era, India's economic ascent, the rise of an assertive China, relations between India and US have transformed from estranged democracies to strategic partners. US and India, though being the oldest and the largest democracy, remained detached before 1991. US and India in the past Cold War era turned into strategies partners. Now, talking about historical relations between India and US, there were many challenges between two countries soon after 1947. After Second World War, there was a huge competition between US and USSR to make the group of countries on the basis of capitalism or communism. So, America wanted India to join their capitalist grouping but India chose to be a non-aligned and it had an independent foreign policy that is non-aligned movement in the year 1961. As a result, US made changes in PL 480 agreement. US refused to export wheat grains to India in 1960s when India badly needed it in the period of famine. In 1960s, India lost the war against China and India was running short of wheat grains. Our contemporary Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri ji gave the slogan Jai Jawan Jai Kishan recognizing the need for self-sustenance and self-reliance as the pillars to build a strong nation. US was completely aligned with Pakistan under Baghdad Pact and Cento Treat Ali and in 1971 war, US pressurized on India but the Treaty of Peace and Friendship with USSR saved India from US attack. Now, talking more about historical relations, after the Cold War was ended in 1991 with the fall of USSR, ever since the relation has definitely improved and now it is at all new heights. We all know now US and India are strategic partners. In 1988-89, to 89, Rajiv Gandhi, the Prime Minister of India, visited US. After that, every of the US President has visited India. Now, talking about the milestone in the relationship, in 2006, Indo-US nuclear deal was signed. It was an agreement done by the Indian Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, and the American President, the George Bush. It was the turning point between two countries. 2001, we all know that Osama bin Laden attacked on World Trade Center. It is also known as 9-11 attack. Since then, the U.S. inclination towards Pakistan decreased and U.S.A. tried to finish all the terrorism. Now, in 2020, during President Trump's visit to India, Comprehensive Global Strategic Partnership Agreement was signed. As well as, during the time of COVID-19, India exported large quantity of hydroxychloroquine medicines to U.S. and U.S. provided ventilators in India. Now. I will talk about the factors that bind good relationship. Both are democracy since US is the world oldest democracy and India is the world largest democracy. Also there are similar geopolitical concerns such as Asia, Pacific, China. India is being seen as a big market for US companies as well. Now let us talk about Indo-US strategic partnership first, Quad then Indo-Pacific, then 2 plus 2 dialogue. After that, 
the main outcomes of third India USA 2 plus 2 dialogues are first is BECA. India has signed the Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement that is BECA with the USA. It will enable the exchange of geospatial data and information between the two countries and will improve the accuracy of India's missiles in precision strikes. BECA is one of the four foundational military communication agreements between the two countries. The other three are First one, General Security of Military Information Agreement. It was signed in 2002 to facilitate sharing military intelligence between India and the USA. Then, LEMOA, Logistic Exchange Memorandum of Agreement. It was signed in 2016. As per this agreement, India and USA can use each other's military bases to carry out repairs and for resupplying. And the next one is COMCASA, Communications Compatibility and Security Agreement. This agreement is to share and secure communications exchange between two nations during training exercises and operations. Then, India's participation in 5 Eyes meeting and recently in September 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi with President Joe Biden met at the White House. Now, talking about the significance of Indo-Pacific region, the Indian version views IP as an inclusive space for all stakeholders based on common responsibilities and common interests. US version interprets a free and open IP based on a rules-based order. And the third version is one which is interpreted by ASEAN as a model based on concession unlike the rule-based order prescribed by the US and to some extent by India as well. Economic Significance Lot of trade goes on in the Indo-Pacific region because very big, huge and developed countries share their maritime borders in the Indo-Pacific region. As we know, India being a coastal country, having such a huge coastal areas, approximately 7,000 kilometers, so India needs to secure its trades through the Indo-Pacific region. Now, here China is trying to dominate that region and is trying to build its military powers in this region so that they can have dominance over the trade. Now, strategic significance in the sense, India is trying to maintain and enhance as well as the military cooperation through Quad. It has already conducted an exercise like Malabar exercise. Also, geopolitical significance. We are living in a contemporary times a geopolitical world is existing here that's extremely volatile. Now and there only it seems like world is on the verge of a potential war. So in this particular period, geopolitical significance for th of this region increases a lot. Defense Corporation India and US conduct joint exercises, first one being Malabar Naval Exercise. This is a trilateral naval exercise. The participants are India, Japan and US. Earlier, the Australia was also a part. Since 2008, because of the pressure of China, Australia left this group. India and US jointly have military exercises called Vajra Prahar and Yuddha Abhyas. And in the month of November 2019, Tiger Trump military exercise was conducted. It was a trilateral services military exercise. India is America's major non-NATO partner. NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also called the North Atlantic Alliance, is an intergovernmental military alliance between 27 European countries, two North American countries, and one Eurasian country. The organization implements the North Atlantic Treaty that was signed on 4th April 1949. Recently, the Ministry of Defense signed a contract on Friday with the US government for procurement of arms for the Indian Navy at a cost of rupees 423 crore. The Indo-US defense ties have been on an upswing in the last few years. In June 2016, the US had designated India a major defense partner. In October last year, India and the US sealed the BECA agreement to further boost bilateral defense ties. Energy Corporation 
India and the US have agreed to expand their energy partnership by adding emerging fuels to the list of areas of cooperation that previously included power and energy efficiency, oil and gas, renewable energy and sustainable growth an official statement said. Economic cooperation the United States seeks an expanded trade relationship with India that is reciprocal and fair. In 2019, overall US-India bilateral trade in goods and services reached US dollar 149 billion. In 2018, India purchased 48.2 million barrels of US crude oil, a significant increase from 9.6 million in 2017. India's export to the US in 2020 to 2021 were valued at US dollar 51.62 billion and import at US dollar 28.88 billion resulting in a trade deficit of about US dollar 23 billion for the US political relations Indians are optimistic that the Biden administration will ease visa requirements for Indian immigration as well as its entry into the nuclear suppliers group both countries hope to see increased trade now talking about the convergence in the indo us relationship comcasa communications compatibility and security agreement 2 plus 2 foreign and defense ministers dialogue inauguration of the first india us tri service military exercise and expansion of existing military exercises inclusion of india and south asia in the us maritime security initiatives this intense engagement has helped achieve robust support from the us against terrorism the us under its pivot to asia policy view india as an ideal balancer to check the aggressive rise of china therefore the us has formulated the concept of indo pacific to counter china in the south china sea and the indian ocean the us has designated india as an integral part of the indo pacific narrative by the conception of quad now if we talk about divergence in the relationship between us and india trade deal trade has been a major bone of contention between india and the us india has been referred by the us as tariff king that imposes tremendously high import duties then us pakistan equation us has softened its position on pakistan due to the role pakistan can play in the afghan deal between the us and the taliban there are always way forward both the countries needs to cut out the irritants between indo us relationship sharp and combined engagement in south china sea provide free navigation in indo pacific region two countries should come close to counter the common threat china despite the historic nuclear deal 2008 civilian nuclear cooperation has not taken off but the agreement with westinghouse to build six nuclear reactors will finally bring us nuclear energy on indian soil in order to counter china in the maritime domain india needs to fully engage with the us and other partners in the indo pacific region in order to preserve the freedom of navigation and the rules based order as we all know in international politics there are no permanent friends and no permanent enemies only permanent interest in such a scenario india must continue to pursue its foreign policy of strategic hedging on this issue that is the indo us relations barack obama the president of america said india and us have thrown off the yoke of colonialism and have drafted the constitutions that begin with the same three words we the people so in future the stellar partnership between the two countries will help to optimize global resources and drive in development that's all for my today's video thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this video if you did then don't forget to like subscribe and comment and share with your colleagues friends and all your acquaintances thank you and have a nice day